last night I heard the screen door slam And a big yellow taxi took away my old man Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got to it's gone Pay paradise for the parking lot Okay, great tune. Fantastic, Jamie Mitchell number, um, and lovely, great fun to play as well. A bit of variation. It's kind of a kind of a riff, if you'll excuse the pun, on the blues shuffle. Um, which is where you play, for example, for instance, on the A chord, play an open A string in the bass, and then second fret D, and strum both of them all the time. And then you riff on second and fourth fret on the D string. And so on. Okay, so our first pattern, starting on, on the off, off the um, off the A string, using my pick by the way, <clears throat> with the rounded edge to create a slightly less heavy attack, because we're accompanying the vocal really, aren't we? And I'm kind of palm muting as well, so you rest the heel of your hand right by the bridge on the strings, just to dull the sound a little bit. There it's off, and there it's off. But you can experiment with that. So on the A, we're going to play this melody line, or harmony line, on the D string. And all the while, the A string underneath. And then we shift to the E string, and fretted 2nd fret A. And then we play this line. you go to a B chord, power chord here. And in the, at the beginning I was shuffling like this. So I'm, this is a bit more difficult because you don't have the open, you don't have an open string in the bass. So if you can't make this stretch to play the shuffle there, just play the chord straight like this. Okay, so. twice. The E riff I mean where you play off the E string and you're fretting the A string. Always hitting the two strings at the same time. And then for the chorus, lovely open chords. Here we've got open E, 7th fret A, uh, yeah 7th, 9th, 9th, open, open. This is like an E fifth chord, it's a power chord. Because you've got that range, or well, the way the notes stack there makes it very nice. And then that chord moves to this. An E major seventh one might be out of tune. Don't it always seem to go? So your pinky moves from ninth to eighth. But you don't know what. And then those two notes that you just had here at ninth and eighth on the middle stretch of strings. The next chord shift down to seventh and sixth, and you strum from the A string. That's a lovely open A suspended. Sound there. Don't know what you. And then a passing A chord here. Got till it's gone, resolving it. E. That passing chord I was playing is A barred. I'm not catching the top string, so just don't worry about it. We only really want to hear that sound. And you can play fourth fret on the G string inside in that chord. That's an A add ninth. Lovely sound. So don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got to it's gone. Back to the shuffle. Be paradise, put up the park. And the rhythm for those chords there, you can either play broken, kind of just one per, like as you change with the lyrics, or you can follow the, the rhythm of the, of the lyric. Don't it, don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone? It's kind of cool. Or 
if you say you've done a couple of choruses like that, then you, uh, towards the end of the tune, to for some dynamic variation, you could play single strums. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got to ask? 